What's up, everybody? Okay. Um, today, I gave the bike a shakedown. This is the new Amazon electric bicycle. Um, it has different names. The name that is on it is this IDP00 whatever. Uh, luckily, the branding is settled. Took a couple stickers off. But I just wanted to make a video here. This is not a review, but I'm talking about the electric bike. Um, the assembly was 20 minutes. I just went through and tightened as many bolts as I could. And this is a first ride. I actually had to take off the front fender. So the thing about this bike is that it has a short wheelbase. The wheels are close together. The bike looks really cool. It's compact and everything. Um, but the fender and the pedals are way too close and even still it's close now but it's rideable um, so here's the thing that I heard about these bikes which is that when you're riding it on pedal power some of the bikes are too wide here and I can at least thankfully say that it is not too wide here I guess it kind of goes tapers down gets thinner in the front so the good thing is your lights have no way no issues there um, let's go over the features um, I like that it has let's actually just do a power on here you can see the um, thing so it has a basic um, actually it's really it's really nice because you can see the um, Everything is, is really legible, but it's not a large screen, doesn't have more color, it's not... Okay, so you see there's a daytime running light here, and I didn't really know this about the bike. When you switch it, um, it's got a projector headlight, which is really cool. Let's see if I can catch it. Okay, so that, and you have, when you pull the brake, you have a brake light, and it, when you pull the brake, it lights up like a motorcycle. Um, the features of this bike are, someone's driving by, this has um, dual suspension. So I didn't want to pay $1,600 for an e-bike, I didn't want to pay $1,200 for an electronic bicycle, I didn't want to pay $1,000, I didn't want to pay $899, I didn't want to pay $800. Uh, I know that the prices are coming down, but I finally, in 2023, jumped in and got the bike. It price point is $849, $849, no baloney, on Amazon, free shipping, okay? So, this is it. Uh, it is a fat tire. Uh, they say it's 20 by 4 inches. Um, the tire is a compromise, but it's a good tire the thing about the tire is that it's kind of like for dirt sand and what you really want is like a tire that does very well with more contact patch like a street with the ability to throw sand and dirt to the side you don't really need to go off-road I quickly went on the grass with this and it uh, has traction and it you can ride it but the, that's a testament to the suspension um, so you have the springs in there, you got the, the two springs in the front, and then you have the two side-by-side -side outside springs. I don't want to focus too much on that. Uh, you have a battery here, I think it's 15.6 kilowatt hour or whatever. Um, two amp charger. Um, has a lock there, so you can lock the, you can lock the, um, battery so that they don't just lift it and take it from you. Battery theft is high, um, but of course they can break it, so take it with you. Uh, what do you have on this feature-wise? Shimano um, with the little you know guard right there, and it is a turny uh, derail derailleur or whatever it is. Um, here's a great feature about this bike, which I love this grab handle here. It's not that heavy. Can actually lift the bike fairly easily at least one side of it and the seat here is a great gel 
style foam. It's really comfortable and you can sit forward or rear on it and it is comfortable. You don't really feel the transition. So this seat is really a feature and a high point of this bike. But there's so many cool things about this bike. Um, if you want to check the battery power, it's so easy. Um, rode a couple miles on it. You don't seem to have the adjustability on the suspension, but that's okay. That's a want, not a need. So again, Shimano, shift up, shift down. You have a, make sure this is off, twist steering. Let me just power this down. It is on zero, but you have a true motorcycle style twist um, grip for throttle, which is great. This is very all metal here, and most of it is pre-adjusted when it came. The 20 minute install with tightening and you're off to the races. This is not assembling a thousand parts together to get this thing together. So that's great out of the box. Um, let's just get a little more in depth here. Um, basically, I think that the frame is very strong and it's a good design. So it's gonna last, the bike is gonna last longer and it's also not gonna make you question when you're riding it. Um, so let's look at the disc brakes here. Front and rear disc brakes. Most of these e-bikes, the brakes are not enough. Um, the bike's heavy, it's got a battery and motor. There's no real, real way around it. Um, does it say a number on here for the brakes? Usually I see numbers, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't have hydraulic brakes. So uh, when, it, when you step up in the price range for these bikes, um, that's the thing is that uh, they, they, want, they have hydraulic brakes and they go larger on the, you can see the overall size. So basically at a glance, you could tell the disc brace, disc, the disc is small on it. Um, it's just basic. So you brake soft and brake early. Um, all these wirings and stuff, which would be a nightmare to actually assemble, was all pre-ran and and in, and a lot of this stuff was already you know put in the loops and and tightened down and everything. Um, so enjoying this bike was a breeze because I wouldn't be here shaking it down, riding it if it wasn't pre-assembled because it's so much. I know how it is to build bikes and they charge a lot of money to build a bike so um, they're smart basically through the front tire on there's an, there's videos that show assembly but um, what else can I say about it um, it does come with the front and rear fenders it is plastic with metal here on the bar um, what do I think I mean it's lightweight it won't rust aluminum ones tend to be premium but uh, and like I said the front one has this flare on the back that was interfering with the pedal and um, already you can kind of see, I can show you right now, that this is not, the design of this is not, I mean, imagine your foot is there, right? Um, so that's something about this bike that is an ultimate compromise on the shape uh, of the bike. Uh, but overall, and here's a feature of this bike or whatever, the it's it's all black it's black on black on black triple black with the white lettering which is people tend to like that sportier look and what else can i say about the bike um went over oh um you also have the motorcycle style let's turn this back on real quick motorcycle style uh controls so headlights or running light it's either one or the other and then you have a Pretty loud horn. Um, they'll hear that. Sounds a little policey. Um, so it is what it is. I don't even know where the horn is coming out of. I guess the headlight area. I don't even know. But uh, so that's the uh, bike. And what else can I say about it? Um, it does have a guard for the gearing there in case you drop the bike. I guess that's everything. Um, 
my impressions. How about riding impressions? How do you think about that? Let me take us over to the um, let me take this over to the sun area, and I'll give you the riding impressions. I don't know if it's gonna look better or worse in the sun, but uh, we're gonna try it. So, um, yeah, tell, let me tell you about the riding and the performance. Even though I've only put a couple of miles on the bike, you can, you can kind of uh, figure out a lot of stuff from that, right? So, okay, there's the bike. Let's try to get a shot of it right there, right? Okay, so, the bike. Um, the suspension is pretty comfortable. Um, it's, it's, it's very pleasant, uh, compared to bikes that I've ran. I've been on mountain bikes. Um, it's way more like a motorcycle than a mountain bike, and that's a saying a lot. Uh, it, it absorbs the shocks. It's very realistic. It helped with the seat cushion, that together with the, the springs. And then if you bring the tire pressure down, so I have the tire pressure around 25 PSI, max is at 30. Uh, you can bring it down to, you know... I don't know, 15, 12, whatever. And that could be an additional suspension, but uh, the ride comfort is there, so that's great. What else can I say about it? Um, this bike has five modes. You can pedal without power, pedal assist, or twist throttle. So it has all three modes and goes about 22 miles per hour. Um, I think it can go up to 25 or 27 if the conditions are right, but 25 is about the advertised point of the bike. So it's got the speed. You're low down, which makes you feel like you're going faster, which is better for safety because you want to feel like you're going fast and you do go fast, but you don't want to, you don't want to go too fast. It's a bicycle. You know, and uh, the road conditions can be quite harsh, and you might not be riding in the most ideal area for your bicycle. So speed is not going to help, especially with the brakes not being there. It's not designed for braking over and over and over again. I could see how they could overheat and not function very well, possibly warp. Um, that's just the reality of it. Um, what else could you say? Um... The brakes, as I already said, they're underwhelming. They work. Um, I feel like they got better. So when I took it out of the box, like they had never been used before. Maybe there was even an oil sheen on the uh, discs. So it started, it was very slippery and almost no brakes at first. So over the course of, uh, you know, using it, I started just by gently rolling the bike and holding the brakes down. Then I started by just lightly wearing the pads in and now I can press the brakes and they is the bike stops and make a little bit of noise but it's fine and uh, they work so that's the thing about the brakes charge time uh, I don't know I charge it up for like three and a half four hours and it said it was full um, I rode it for a few miles and it says that the first tick of the battery has started to go down so it's not completely full right now. Um, and they say you should store it like that or 50, near 50% if you're not riding it uh, after a couple days, a day or two. So that's that in terms of battery health and care. Um, what else? Um, the, uh, the pedals, they're all metal. There's a lot of metal going on here, and I did notice something was plastic that I wasn't super excited about, but most of it is metal. So, I mean, it just, it feels solid. But, oh, here's the downside. So when you, once you go all metal and you get a more inexpensive e-bike, it's heavy. Um, overall, it's a heavy bike compared to light bicycles, but it definitely is manageable. Uh, oh, another thing I was going to say is the handling of the bike, right? And so the, so if you look at the tire, you could see that it's actually quite curved. And when it's curved like that, it's easy to turn and, it, and there's no transition when you're, uh, you know, leaning on the bike. Uh, but because of the short wheelbase, as I mentioned before, and the tires the way they are, the bike turns super easy. And so it's a little twitchy like that. So you have to have a real soft hand on this particular bike. But like overall for a for a 
for an e-bike, um, first e-bike. Uh, I didn't really talk about the motor. Advertisement, they say a thousand watts. I think this is a 500 watt. It says their own brand. They put their own sticker on it. Actually, I never even looked. It says another sticker on it. I'm gonna look. And if you <laughs> if you look at it, it has no sticker. So it doesn't say anything about the motor. I think it's a 500 watt. Uh, but for a first bike, and I could say that's a lot. And I could say that this is a lot of bike for somebody who's never ridden e-bike digital. Uh, that is uh, electric bicycle because. When you're, if you can, so the good things about the motor, the power delivery, you can gently tap the throttle and it gets you going and then you can pedal. So you won't have to like kick off, which is great. So it has that, um, the throttle, yeah, there's, it's kind of like, there's a couple of steps in it. So it's not the smoothest in the world, but it's so smooth with experience and with a, a, a gentle control. Um, I actually think it's really good especially for an entry level type of situation. And what else? Um, the first, like basically, and they don't tell you how to ride these things, right? Cause you got a seven speed. Um, you can kind of put it in pedal assist and you can ride it like in between first and three and third gear. And then it kind of like, you, it, that gets you on a slow pace and you start to like kind of pedal and you don't feel resistance, but you're not going too fast and you're getting the pedal assist. Or you can put it onto seven, the highest gear, and put it in pedal assist there. And I always have it on pedal assist one. That gives you plenty of power. And, and uh, I think it goes up to, I don't know, let's say 12 miles per hour. The sweet spot of this bike for me is eight miles per hour. Uh, eight to nine and then sometimes you might get to ten if you if just to briefly and come back to about eight or nine and uh, so those are my thoughts on this electric bicycle um, overall it's excellent item and uh, I think that the the rear spring is squeaking a little bit I think I have to loosen it and tighten it again to prevent the binding to of that squeaking but uh, it's not a really a big deal so all right well thanks for watching um I, I think i covered all the points that i wanted to cover for this bike which when you look online you don't really see uh the stuff that i go over and um does have one other, i didn't notice that it, i didn't say it has a removable front wheel with the uh, quick release there um it looks like they gave you another rod but didn't fit so i don't know how to i just went with that and anyway all right that's it for the video make sure you hit like comment something um don't ask me too many questions i'm not a salesman i just enjoying my bicycle on the comments but subscribe later